my god. <laughs> yeah, like right there. <laughs> what is that over there? What is that? I don't know. An iguana that's yeah. like as big as me. Holy <laughs> mackerel. The essential ingredient for traveling and for hosting your guest, really, is to be genuine and sincere and to be generous in wanting to share and transparent in what you're doing with no other motives. Salvo Verde Lodge and Private Reserve um, is located in northeast Costa Rica in Sarapiqui in the province of Heredia. We're about two hours drive from San Jose and we really consider ourselves a gateway for visiting the tropical rainforest. Um, Salvo Verde protects 500 acres of primary rainforest. It's right behind me and it's filled with incredible biodiversity and wildlife. My favorite part about Salvo Verde is being immersed in such a unique environment um, and as someone that comes from a very urban area in the United States it's a total shift in what I'm used to and it's fun waking up in the morning being able to hear the monkeys uh, howling and the birds chirping and uh, the noises of nature. Um, it, it was like literally in the rainforest and I didn't think that we would be like so close to like all this wildlife and everything. You can wake up in the morning in Selva Verde and see toucans and birds, other types of birds, animals, frogs. And so we're just learning about the different ecosystems here in Costa Rica. We'll be going to see um, a volcano. And so we'll be seeing more like the highlands, the lowlands, and then here obviously in the rainforest. Well, the most exciting things we've done so far include uh, touring the local wildlife through the forests and looking at the different variety of frogs, birds, uh, and plant life that exists and is unique to this area. Uh, we also got to experience white water rafting and zip lining through the canopy, which is an unforgettable experience. This is considered also like a corridor where the species can migrate up and down because we have a lot of forests uh, in each side of the river. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought. So it's much more than just a lodge. It's what they say, like a rainforest reserve. If I was making my living by taking people to see the natural world, I had to stand behind the natural world and say I want to save it. I think it's really interesting um, how they're so into like the recycling and um, all of the different bins that are um, all around here. I was nervous about the water at first, but they're really good about providing clean water in the jugs all around the lodge. And in the food here, especially the fruit, it's been amazing. It's been really good. I wanted to share the, with other people what I felt when I was exploring, going into the Andes, going, uh, you know, going for the first time to the Galapagos, going to Africa. I wanted them to share with people who wanted to travel. You know, Salvo Verde is a, a wonderful place for birders, for naturalists, for families, uh, for couples, for educational groups. Different types of groups can come here and have a program 
that is full of nature, adventure, and just absorbing this wonderful ecosystem and community. This is uh, my second time bringing students uh, through Holbrook to Selva Verde, and it, I, we couldn't be more excited. Yes, I plan to come back one day um, through Holbrook because they've done such a great job uh, preparing the itinerary and um, giving us opportunities to uh, adventure into this wilderness area that other programs couldn't do. And just seeing like Costa Rica for what it is instead of just going to one of those resort areas, um, you can really see the country this way. You travel because we want to share and learn. You want to find something new so you can compare it and learn from it. I'd like to invite you to come and explore Selva Verde with your family, with your friends, with your uh, professional group. Come for a team building, come for a workshop. Come and enjoy Selva Verde Lodge. It's your home in Costa Rica.